Dominus Vobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, sequentia sancti evangelii secundum lucam. Gloria tibi Domine. In illo tempore, 
eran afroquinquantes ad iesum publicani et pecatores ut audident illum, et murmuravan farisei et scribe dicentes, quia hic pecatores recipit et manducat cumilis, et ait ad illos parabola mistam dicens, quis ex vobis homo, qui habet centum obes, et si perdiderit unam ex illis, non e dimitit non aginta novem in deserto, et vadit ad illam, que perierat non ec inveniat eam, et cum invenit, invenerit eam, imponit in umeros suos gaudens, et veniens domum, convocat amic, amicos e vicinos dicensilis, un ratulamini mici, quia inveni ove meam, que perierat, dico vobis quod ita gaudium erit in cielo super uno peccatore, penitentiam agente, quam super non aginta novem justis, qui non indigent penitentia. At quae mulier havens drachmas decem, si perdideret drachmam unam nonne accendit lucernam et everit omum, et quaerit diligenter nonnec inveniat, et cum invenerit, convocat amicas et vicinas dicens, un gratulamini mici quia inveni drachmam, quam perdideram. Ita dico vobis, gaudium erit coram angelis dei super uno peccatore penitentiam agente. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This Mass is especially offered for Colby Sizdek. And tonight we have adoration at 7 p.m., which will be live streamed or in person. And I think that's all the major announcements we have for, for this week anyway. So look thou upon me, O Lord, and have mercy on me, for I am alone and poor. That's the intro we hear from the Psalms, from Psalm 24. And in many ways, this is how we often feel. As I mentioned in my Spanish Mass this past Sunday, we tend to be, again, big picture kind of people. We don't always, well, I mean, we don't tend to be big picture kind of people. We always tend to get kind of lost in our own details, in our own worries, and in our own struggles, which is perfectly understandable, since that is what we're dealing with, and that is what we are honestly feeling. There's nothing wrong with feeling those things. But are we ever really truly alone and poor? in the sense that the psalmist is complaining? In a way, not really, because this is what the Apostle Peter is telling his audience. He's telling them in a sense, look, you're not here by yourself. In the sense, know that the same affliction befalls your brethren who are in the world. In other words, you feel oppressed by the mighty hand of God. Well, instead of always trying to resist the hand of God, Humble yourself under the hand of God so that instead he may raise you up with it instead of trying to humble, with, humble you with it. And watch out for bigger things to worry about. Saying, you know, you have all these other worries, but your opponent, the your devil, the lion, like a roaring lion, is looking for someone to devour. That should be a bigger worry for you than all these, all these other problems. There's nothing wrong with worrying about those smaller problems, but in a sense, it can't be our whole world. And he concludes, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little, and this is suffered a little in comparison to what the price of eternal glory is, will himself perfect you and confirm you and establish you. In other words, all these little things that you are suffering now, not only are you not alone, but they do serve a purpose. They will help, in a sense, build you up and strengthen you for the coming kingdom of God. This is one reason why our Lord, I think, speaks also in parables. And let's try to, am to sort of broaden and amplify the worldview of his listeners, especially the scribes and Pharisees. In a sense, they think in a very almost literal sense or a very narrow line sense, but part of what our Lord came was to sort of expand that idea. Expanding the idea, for example, of who is my neighbor? Is my neighbor just the person that happens to live next to me, the person in my neighborhood and the few houses around me? No, the Lord expands that to mean whoever you encounter, whoever 
you see, whether poor or rich, whether far or, or near. Well, and so the parables, again, broaden the mind of his listeners. What is it, in a sense, that God wants? You think God just wants X, Y, and Z. But above all things, he wants the salvation of the sinner. He wants the salvation of the human soul. All other things lead to that for God, including, of course, his incarnation and his crucifixion, his passion, death, and resurrection. So all these things that God does are to bring us back to him. It is putting that in perspective for the scribes and Pharisees. It's saying, we do not keep the law just for the sake of keeping the law. We keep the law in a sense to protect ourselves, but we also go beyond the law when it is necessary to save others. This is really what we need to keep in mind oftentimes. Whatever political camp or whatever liturgical camp we are in, we always have to keep that end goal in mind. Too often we resort back to our own little factions, our own little groups. But at the end of all things, God did not come to save just the uh, sheep on the left and the sheep on the right, or the sheep on the right. He came to save all the sheep. He came to save the sheep that were, have only been lost for a little bit. He came to save the sheep that have been lost for years and decades. He came to save the sheep that wasted their father's inheritance. He came to save, even to, even to try to save the sheep that would betray him or leave him at his hour of greatest need. That is the end goal for all things in Christ. So are we working toward that goal? Are we working toward the salvation of others? Doesn't mean we ever compromise the truth because again, we can't be saved in a sense without the truth. But we can certainly lose somebody still having the truth and not making that effort to reach out to them, to talk to them, to preach the good news, to look for them. If somebody is not looking for you, there's very little chance you will be rescued. If not through us, God might use somebody else as an instrument. But on our own judgment day, then God will say, why didn't you go out? Why didn't you look for the others? This is part of the reason that I put you on this earth. And then we will not have an answer for him. We will not say, well, I was keeping your commandments. I was keeping your laws. We were sort of keeping them, but not with love, not with the love of looking for the good of the other, not for the love of looking for the salvation of the other. So let us keep that always in mind then. Again, we have all our own little problems and, and worries, and that's fine again. But remember, this is not just for us. This is for all our brothers and sisters throughout the world, those who suffer, those who also bear the same things with us sometimes, when we don't know it because we are too focused on ourselves. So let us then open our eyes, open our eyes of faith, open our eyes with charity and love, and we may truly be able to see as broadly as God wants us to see. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sperent in te omnes qui noverunt nomen tuum domine, poniam non de relinquis quarentis te, salite domino qui habitat in Sion, poniam non est oblitus orationem pauperum.
per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Sursum corda. Fratia sagamus Domino Deo nostro. Vere dignum eius de mea secum et salutari nos tibi semper et ubique gratia sagere Domine Sancte Pater, onnipotens eterne Deus, per Christum Dominum nostro. Perque maie satum tuam laudant angeli adorant dominationes tremunt potestatis, celi cerrumque virtutes ac beatas serafim socia exultazione concelebra. Conquivus et nostras voces ut admiti iubeas de pecamur, supplice confessione dicentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus. Dominus, Deus, Sabaoth, plenis sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, osana in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, osana in excelsis.
לכרוך את שתי הדברים. Eronia secula seculorum. Oremus, preceti salitaribus moniti, divina institutione formati, ademus dicere, Pater nostre, qui es in celi, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, parem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut de nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Ene nos inducas in tentationum, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, sit semper vobiscum. Agnus Dei, with all his peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, with all his peccata mundi, misere nobis. Agnus Dei, with all his peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Grazie a tutti i miei amici, 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 grazie a
Dominus Vobiscum. Inizium Sancti Evangelii secundum Ioannum. In principio era verbum, et verbum erat apud Deum, et Deus erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apud Deum, omnia per ipsum facta sunt, et sine ipso factum est nihil. Quod factum est, in ipso vita era, et vita era lux hominum. Et lux in tenebris solucet, et tenebe ea non comprenderunt. Fuit homo misos, a Deo cu nomen erat Ioannes. Ic venit in testimonium, testimonium periberet de lumine, ut omnes credet per illum, non erat ida lux edu testimonium periberet de lumine. Erat lux vera, cui illuminat onum homnium venientem in hoc mundum. In mundo erat in mundus per ipsum factus, es, et mundus eum non cogniovit. In propria venit et sui eum non ceperunt. Pocur autum non ceperunt eum delite dis potestatum filios de fieritis, qui credunt in nomine eius, qui non ex sanguinibus, neques voluntate carnis, neques voluntate vidis, rex Deo, nati sunt. Verbum caro factum est. Et habitabit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meius, gloriam quasi unigenitia patre plenum gratiae veritatis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. God. 